Hey, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm JMC and today we're going to talk about Halloween outfits. More specifically, we're going to talk about Ghostface with Scream 6 being so popular just a few weeks ago there, which was an awesome movie. You're going to have a lot of people dressing up as Ghostface. Now when it comes to dressing up, there's a few different methods you can go down just for Ghostface. You can go an expensive route or you can go the cheaper route, which is a DIY. I've done both and I will show you the results and what you think is best for you. So let's go on with it. Well, the more expensive Scream Robes one. As you can see the sleeves also have the tassels. The hood, it looks huge because I've not got a mask on. But on the top here there's Velcro which attaches to the mask. So it stops it from obviously if the wind's blowing, it will stop it from going down. Uh, up here I've not touched it because uh, I can't really tie the gloves on. The gloves are also attached. So I'm just looking to see if I can see it. The gloves are also attached, which makes it even easier just to get your hands in. Mine seem, they do seem a bit big, but it is what it is. The hood has a uh, foam inside of here. Maybe polystyrene, not really sure, but it holds it in place. Overall quality is a 10 out of 10. Such a, a thicker material. Really comfy to wear. And here we've got the Fun World robe, which you can get from any Halloween shop or online like Amazon or eBay. Anywhere that sells that type of stuff. It's got the bottom, it's all jagged here, just like in the movie, obviously. Uh, the sleeves are the same. The sleeves have the, the tassel type things. Now you may be wondering, what the hell is this? I forgot to mention this is Rust-Oleum Oil Rubbed Bronze Spray Paint. When you're doing this spray paint, you want to do nice consistent lines up and down. Not like I've done, I've went a bit heavy here because it was blown about in the wind. It looks worse in camera because I'm in direct sunlight, but at night time, you hardly even notice how bad it is. I mean, it is pretty good. But it gives it this nice shimmer, glitter effect like the sparkle robes. This came just jet black like that. And I've turned it into like a couple of bits of sparkle here. So the outfit itself was, I think maybe 30 pound. It, obviously the outfit. And it came with a mask and a belt to tie around your waist. All right for one night, I guess, for a Halloween party. But if you're going to wear this every day, I would make sure you do it better than what I've done. The camera's just not doing it justice. It does look better, I promise. So there you go, I've shown you both. The choice is yours. I would really consider it on when you're going to wear it. If it's just for one night, I would go with the cheaper option. But if you want to continue doing cosplays and go to different conventions and whatever, then maybe invest in the Scream Rogue one. But if you're going to do that, I would do it soon because the turnover time can take a few months and with Halloween coming up, it could be a bit longer. So Scream Robes on Instagram and if you're doing the cheaper option, your local Halloween party shop, Amazon, eBay, whatever you get, outfits or whatever. Uh, the only thing you will need is the paint. I sadly don't have any on me because I've done mine a few months ago. But yeah, it does look better at night, I promise you this. I was just in direct sunlight and that's why it looked kind of patchy and overdone. But choice is yours. Hope this was helpful. If it did, please leave a like. Hope this helped. Thanks guys. Bye.